Hello and welcome back to Vindex Engineering. Today I am unveiling our new project engine for our 84 Camaro. This is a Junkyard 4.8 or 5.3 Chevy LS engine out of a 2000-ish truck. It is all stock and has the 862 heads on it. As I go through this project, I'll be vlogging the whole thing. The ultimate goal for this engine is to eventually turn about a thousand horsepower out of it. That will include doing all forged internals and putting twin turbos on it. For the initial phase of this project though, we are just going to go through the teardown procedures, connecting the Holly Terminator X, the fuel system, and see if we can get it to fire up on the engine stand. Today also turned out to be mail time. Where? I got a whole bunch of parts in the mail. First one on the bench is a starter that I had already unboxed before I shot the video. And what I'm unboxing right now is going to be the new uh, fuel pressure regulator. And at this point, I have no idea what's in this box. I'm trying to find out, see if there's anything describing what it is. Don't see anything, so I'm just finishing unboxing it. The fuel pressure regulator that I ended up going with is a Kyostar high pressure fuel regulator off of eBay. Uh, I chose this one because it has two AN10 fittings and one AN6 for the return line, which will give me enough fuel supply to power the engine even after I get the new turbos put on it. It also came with a 160 PSI gauge, which you see here. I'll have links in the description for this and the starter and everything else I got off eBay. Here you can see the front of the regulator which has a spot for the gauge as well as the spot for the 10 ANs on the side and the 6 AN for the return on the bottom. Last but not least of the packages I got today was this huge box that actually weighed probably about 10 to 15 pounds. I was fairly surprised with how heavy it was and wasn't really sure what one of the parts I ordered came in it. Some of you that have already done these projects probably already know what this is, but it was new for me. Turns out that it was none other than my Holly Terminator X. So I went with the 550904 because I'm running the 24X Reluctor Wheel and the uh, specific injectors for that one. I'm not planning on running uh, drive-by-wire or running a 4L80 as I already have a pretty well-built Turbo 400 in the car. So I just needed the one to control the engine. You can see me unpacking the wire harness here and more of the wire harness and more of the wire harness should be a pretty fun project to put this all together. Music 
The first step in preparing the engine is going through and getting rid of the old wire harness. This includes going through and undoing all the little stupid plastic connectors that hold everything in place. For this project I decided I'm not going to reuse the spark plug wires or the coils. I will be saving the coils in case I need one for a spare, but there was a few that were damaged when I received the engine, so I needed to get a whole new set anyways. There will be a link in the description for those as well. The first accessory that I'm taking off is the AC unit, which is held on by four bolts using a 15 millimeter socket. Be careful when taking the AC compressor off because if you don't, you're probably going to end up dropping it like I just did. The bracket that holds the AC unit to the engine is held on by two screws, which are located here. As I go through this project, I'll put links in the description of the video and different links in the video for the parts that I've gotten throughout this whole project. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.